Hey, what's going on guys? We have a new date for Strike Bank, the second part of the season 4 finale, as well as a new trailer, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about it today. So starting off with the English date, which is the only date that we have thus far, but Glue will probably air before then, that is March 12th at 10am EST on Disney Channel USA. So that's the official English dub, although just like Risk, Spectrum, or some other platform may release it before then, so we'll just have to keep an eye out for that date, or if it just drops randomly like Risk did, then we'll get it whenever that is now moving on to the trailer i will have it linked down in the description below now beware it is really spoilery i've been thinking this a lot about uh the official miraculous youtube channel's trailers recently they have been really spoilery and it kind of ruins the experience for me it's very similar to gloob uh gloob has obviously had a way worse track record but this is just taking it too far i think uh, for the official Miraculous YouTube channel. They're taking too much inspiration from Gloob, and I don't mean to trash Gloob, they're just the people who usually do it the most, but now it's sort of looking like the official Miraculous YouTube channel is, like, almost overtaking Gloob. Like, like guys, the, the finale, the first part was great because we didn't have very many spoilers about it, but Strike Back, we pretty much know exactly what's gonna happen for the most part. And so it just kind of ruins the experience for me. I don't know. What's your thoughts on it? So if anyone who's working on the official Miraculous YouTube channel or, you know, people who know them or whatever, just maybe this is a sign that you're not doing a good thing. The trailers are supposed to give us a sneak peek and get us excited, not show us everything that's going to happen, you know? But anyway, let's go and talk about this trailer, shall we? So this trailer is an extra long trailer from usual from the official Miraculous YouTube channel. And that's because it combines the two finale episodes, so I'm not going to talk about the risk parts because obviously we've already seen that episode. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is this scene where Strike Back launches the Ferris wheel at the team. In this shot, we can see Risk here, so that means Ladybug has officially identified that Risk is a problem, and maybe she doesn't even know that like what Risk's powers are. I would assume that she does because Risk just sort of says it out in the open, but she has found Risk. But she doesn't exactly know where the object uh, that was akumatized, the stuffed animal, is, or Risk, or she has, just hasn't gotten to it yet, or whatever. So that's why Risk is here, still akumatized. So that's some cool stuff for you. Next, we have this scene where Ladybug activates both the Bunny and Pegasus Miraculous, or I guess Horse Miraculous. Don't really have any ideas what her name will be. Let's see. Uh, Pega Bunny Bug. Pega Bunny Bug. That's that's my guess for Pegasus Bunny and Bug. Pe Pe Pega Bunny Bug. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. So the fact that she's using both of these miraculous tells us two things. One, she's going to be opening a portal, which from another promo we already knew that that's how they're going to defeat Strike Back, which kind of sucks that we know that. But you know, we actually figured that out a long time ago uh, because Gloob released a trailer including it. So thanks Gloob for spoiling. The, the climax of the finale yay so not only will ladybug be using the portals she's also going to be going either backwards or forwards in time for some reason that could be just a few hours or it could be decades or years or centuries or whatever it's gonna be crazy all right next thing i want to talk about is supposedly adrian most likely felix getting the dog miraculous now it's not officially confirmed that it is the dog miraculous but judging based off of the color palette and the fact that in this scene you can see a necklace on which is the same miraculous that the dog has it's most likely the dog miraculous now the two scenarios that i can see are this is either adrian or felix adrian it would have to be in the past or the future adrian uh which is why she maybe used the bunny miraculous or it could be felix and it's just felix yay so either one but no matter what ladybug's thinking it's adrian so yeah it's it's adrian in her eyes <laughs> now we have this shot which i just think is really cool i don't know why i just really like this shot i just i don't know something's really nice about it but anyway we can see felix or adrian here next to ladybug with the dog miraculous pretty cool it feels like it's only them two left because in the previous you know shots we saw that the whole heroes were sort of wiped out you know uh so i would think that this would be just the final stand between them and I really hope this is Adrian, because that would just be so much better than it being Ladybug and Felix. You know, it'd be Ladybug and Adrian, right? That'd just be awesome. I don't know. That's my own thoughts, though. All right, now, this next scene that I'm going to talk about is probably the most talked about scene, probably. 
Uh, that, that's just my guess, but it's, it's the one that I'm most excited for because on top of just looking really freaking cool, it's, it's, it's a very important scene in my eyes because it tells us a lot about what's going on here. So let me set the scene. It's raining. Ladybug is crying for some reason. She's also blushing. Kent Noir is here in this awesome pose with his hair blowing in the wind. Actually, his hair's not blowing, but you know, whatever. <laughs> well, it was in the first scene, but in the second scene when she looks back, it's not. So, you know, animation error there for you, but whatever. Now, there are two questions here that everyone should be asking. One, why is Ladybug blushing? And two, why is Ladybug crying? Because this is most likely after the battle has finished, right? Now, let's talk about the blushing part first, because I think there is less to talk about than the crying. So I think Ladybug may have gone back in time to figure out who Kent Noir is by watching Master Fu. I, I think that's a pretty reasonable guess. Could be not that, but you never know. That could be why she's blushing and she knows that Kent Noir is Adrian and it's the reveal. I think that'd be really cool. And we do know that the reveal is going to happen either in season four or season five because there's like a big time skip stuff or whatever. So it has to be either in this finale or probably the next finale. So, you know, 50-50 shot, I guess. So that could be the first reason. The second and more boring reason is she likes Cat Noir because he looks super cool in the wind. Yay. But my guess is she figured out that he is Cat Noir. Now let's address why she is crying. And honestly, this is not just a one size fits all. These are all just theories, by the way, just let me put that out there. Uh, but it could be any one of these theories. It could be none of these theories, but it could also be multiple of them combined because they're not uh, exclusive. So my first thought, which goes back to what I was just saying with her blushing, if she does know that Kent Noir is Adrian, she could be crying because she realizes maybe uh, that she can't be with Adrian any longer because that would put them in danger. And so maybe she's crying because of that. Now, the other thing I was thinking is we know that this whole finale, the whole idea of it, we had like, you know, people come out and talk about it, like in an interview and stuff, that this finale is not going to end as well for the heroes. It's not going to be a complete victory for them. So what if Hawk Moth, as we saw the villain or the, um, the other heroes on Ladybug's team were sort of like, you know, beaten down and all that stuff. So what if Hawk Moth goes in and steals their miraculous and then at that point, it's just Ladybug and Cat Noir, right? And then that could be why it's raining. It's sort of sad. They sort of suffered this big loss. Like, they won the battle, but they sort of lost the war in that case, right? They just lost a bunch of their Miraculous, which is a huge problem for them. So she could be crying that, man, this kind of sucks that all of my team members are gone. And if that's the case, that's why she could be crying, but... Why would she still be blushing at that point? Well, maybe it's because she's on a team alone with Adrian now. Like, that could be another reason why she's blushing. Like, oh, I'm alone with Adrian on my team now. But it's also very sad that all of the miracles got stolen from me, right? So that's another idea that I had. Now, one last idea for the blushing part. Uh, kind of inspired. I, I just thought of this on the fly when I was looking at this screenshot here. Uh, it could be that Kent Noir is trying to cheer on Ladybug. She's crying that she just lost all the Miraculous. And then Kent Noir cheers her up and says something nice. And then she starts blushing because of that. That could be another reason. Maybe she doesn't know the identity thing. Uh, so that's another idea that I thought of just now. Now, one last thing that I want to talk about that, honestly, I sort of forgot to talk about. It's the fact that the sunglasses were the lucky charm. Why? Are these the lucky charms? I don't know. That's kind of why I forgot about it because it was just, I didn't have really have any ideas except for this one, which is kind of stupid. And if this is the actual reason, then that would just be kind of stupid. But uh, maybe the sunglasses are for if the heroes get detransformed, right? They don't want Shadow Moth to know their face, so they're wearing sunglasses. You know, that could be a reason. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, the Lucky Charms are random, uh, so I don't know. That was just the only thing I could think of. If you have any other ideas, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. But yeah, overall, that's all I had uh, for this trailer, all my thoughts on it, hopefully, unless I forgot something like I did with the sunglasses. Uh, I will be honest, again, not a big fan of this trailer because it spoils the entire freaking episode, basically. Uh, and then combined with Gloob's other trailer, it's like, huh. Well, we know how the villains are going to be defeated. We know that the outcome isn't super great because Ladybug's crying after it, right? It's like, bro, like chill out on the spoilers, right? 
like oh man with gloob and the official miraculous youtube channel like gosh dang this season there's a reason why risk was so good guys and you know it's one of my favorite episodes now because it, we didn't get a whole bunch of spoilers for it we got a few but you know it's whatever you know it's just it's just crazy okay but anyway guys that's gonna be it for me if you enjoyed you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this and i'll see you in the next one goodbye